Darren Waller has been uh, obviously a conversation piece over the oh damn near the whole course of the fucking season. I mean, at the beginning of the season, he had fucking hammy issues. He dealt with another hammy, double hammies, hammy on hammy. All, all season long, it was injury issues with Darren Waller. And then he finally showed up at the end of the season. And now he's even, you know, dropping little, uh, little fucking hot words about Derek Carr here and there in interviews. Uh, but so you got Darren Waller. Darren Waller's under contract, and uh, he will be back next year, unless for some reason you wanted to make a trade. Although, you, with Darren Waller coming off a season where he didn't really play, I think it's hard to move him with the type of money you've got him uh, under contract too. Now Foster Moreau has has shown to be hit or miss, hit or miss. Um, I say more hit than miss. I'm a fan of Foster Moreau, and I would be a fan of bringing him back for the right price. But he is an unrestricted free agent, so he is going to go out uh, into the market. And so now you're losing your number two. Now your number three is a Jasper Horstead, uh, who was who looked really good, looked really good in preseason. And when Waller was down and then Moreau was banged up, he got thrust into some action there for a few games and actually looked really good. Uh, during during the stretch in the season as well. So I think you possibly bring him back, but he's a restricted free agent. Um, so you, you've got to, you've got to figure out something with that guy as well. So you've got some holes right there tied in. You've only got the three Waller's really the only one that you've got secured. So you, you, you start looking at free agents, just out there. Um, you've got some, uh, you got some other top name free agents, Dalton Schultz, Evan Ingram, uh, Tanyan, Austin Hooper, Hayden Hurst. I mean, there are some solid free agent tight ends out there. And supposedly this is a rookie deep draft in tight ends, but are you gonna are you gonna risk plugging a rookie in that high in on your depth chart of tight end right out of the gate? I just I don't know. I don't know. And Horstead's only a second year guy coming in this year, so um it's, you've got some interesting decisions to make there at tight ends. You really do.